our YouTube channel Sai Edu Pharma. As you all know that we have various playlists which are subject wise playlist and as we have already prepared a playlist of novel drug delivery systems or controlled release drug delivery systems in that series today we are going to have video on transdermal patches we already have discussed video on transdermal drug delivery systems but sometimes it happens that separately in short note or in long question it comes what is transdermal patch so we will be discussing in detail what are transdermal patches so transdermal patches are type of medication delivery systems which administer drug through the skin directly into the blood stream and these patches are designed so that we can deliver drug in a controlled manner and in a sustained way so that the constant blood level is achieved typically ranging from hours to several days so what are the advantages of novel drug relief systems or transdermal patches over traditional oral medications as you all know that the patches they stick so the improved adherence is the main uh, reason uh, due to which if once we apply it then dosing frequency is reduced so the patient doesn't have to take dose or medication multiple times a day second is long lasting effect because the medication the desired quantity is slowly released and a prolonged therapeutic effect is achieved similarly there is ease of use we don't have to use any invasive method like we use in the parenteral dosage forms so it is very convenient for the patients second is steady state drug delivery as they provide a constant and predictable release of medication steady state blood levels are maintained with minimum fluctuations of dosing there is avoidance of digestive system as we all know that unlike oral medications which go to liver and the uh, metabolism of the drug occurs in this case the drug doesn't go to digestive system so the transdermal patches bypass the gastrointestinal tract and this is very much beneficial for the drugs which are very much sensitive to stomach acid or enzymes and also reduced side effects are because the medication directly goes to the blood stream and therefore less dose has to be given and there are uh, the gastrointestinal side effects are prevented like nausea or stomach irritation so which type of medications could be administered through these transdermal patches so various categories of drugs are there for example uh, nicotine is used for smoking cessation then hormones like estrogen and testosterone are used for hormone replacement therapy then in pain medications we use opioid patches for chronic pain management then for motion sickness scopolamine patches are used for hypertension clonidine patches are used to control blood pressure then for contraceptives like birth control contraceptive patches releasing hormones are used to prevent pregnancy and also rivastigmine patches are used for alzheimer disease now we will be seeing what is the composition of a transdermal patch so there is a backing layer then there will be a drug matrix then adhesive layer liner permeation enhancers control release technology and protective packaging so now we will be seeing in detail about the structure or about the composition or components of a transdermal patch so first is backing layer it is the outermost part of the patch and it is made up of flexible impermeable material like plastic or polyester it protects the patch and provides the structural integrity to the transdermal patch second most important component is drug matrix or the reservoir this is the core of the patch because it contains medication it can be of two types matrix patches or reservoir patches as we have already studied this in our control release basics then also i'll just repeat that in matrix the drug is uniformly distributed with the polymer matrix which controls the release rate but in the case of reservoir patches there is a drug reservoir enclosed with a membrane or rate controlling barrier third is the adhesive layer 
which is on the side of the patch that comes onto the contact with the skin. It helps to stick the patch to the skin and ensures that the uh, transdermal patch stays in the place during wear. And um, very important thing is that this adhesive is formulated in a skin friendly manner so that it doesn't cause any type of irritation to our skin. Next is the liner or release liner. It is a protective layer on the adhesive side of the patch. It is removed before applying the patch to the skin and the liner keeps the adhesive layer from sticking to other surfaces before use. Then permeation enhancers are used which help the medication to penetrate the skin's outermost layer that is the stratum cornea which is the barrier layer. Then control release technology is incorporated to control the rate of drug release. Then protective packaging is there. So this is example of matrix diffusion control drug delivery. This also we have already studied in our chapter of implants. These are the diagrams you could see here. These are the transdermal patches. We have to remove this layer and then in this way the patch is applied to the skin. And this is the diagram of various components of the patch. So what are the factors for the development of patch? Three important factors that has to be considered are drug solubility, skin permeability and desired duration of drug release. On the basis of it, the patch is designed and the patients using transdermal patch should always follow the instructions provided by their healthcare provider or the medication packaging for proper use and disposal. This is noble transdermal patches. There are some few types like smart patch, dissolving biodegradable patch, high loading release patch and 3D printed patch. So at last I will again summarize the ingredients of the formulation. So the important ingredient is drug which is the pharmaceutical ingredient uh, means the drug is the um, therapeutic effect causing medication. Then polymer matrix example PVP, ethyl cellulose, polyacrylate, then solvent is used in adhesive, then backing layer and release liner. So after we have seen various ingredients, now we will be seeing what is the method of preparation or formulation. So this is the method of preparation of transdermal patch. First of all, we have to dissolve drug and polymer and we have to prepare a dissolution in here you, you have already seen that polymer used is PVP, ethyl cellulose or polyacrylates then a formulation is prepared then adhesive preparation is done example of adhesives are acrylic based adhesives then drug load and matrix is prepared then liner application and after that drying and curing occurs and then cutting and packaging of the patch occurs so now we have prepared the transdermal patch and after preparation we have to do the evaluation of the patch first of all we will be evaluating the thickness with the help of screw gauge and here the measurement is taken and then average value is determined. Second is the moisture content. For moisture content you have to take desiccator in which you have to keep fused calcium chloride. Then the patches which we have to evaluate they are initially weight for initial uh, initial what is the initial weight of the patch and then after that we put it in desiccator for 24 hours and after that again they are reweight and the moisture content is calculated by subtracting the final weight from the initial weight with respect to the initial weight this is the formula and similarly we also determine water vapor transmission rate and in this what we do is we take glass oil as transmission cell in which calcium chloride is placed which act as desiccant then film which has to be evaluated is placed over cell then the cell is weighed and placed in desiccator which is filled with potassium chloride saturated solution to maintain 84 percent relative humidity then glass oil is removed from the desiccator and reweighed after 24 hours for a period of 72 hours then by uh, subtracting with the the final weight with the initial weight we again find out the what is water vapor transmission rate next parameter is folding endurance in this we fold the patch several number of times at the same time at same place till patch broke the number at which patch fold without breaking will give the value of folding endurance so dear viewers if you have not subscribed the channel sci edu pharma do subscribe our channel 
so further evaluation parameters are drug release profile then pharmacokinetics adhesion and skin irritation and bioavailability for evaluation of drug content we use spectrophotometer in this about 100 ml solution of phosphate buffer is taken with ph 7.5 and patch having dimension 1, 1 by 1 is cut and added into buffer solution stir the solution for 5 hours in the magnetic stirrer we filter the solution and we take in the cuvettes and we find out uh, the quantity by uv spectrophotometer and the lambda max taken is the lambda max that is scanned for the same drug this is again you can see here the in vitro drug release studies you we determine it by franz diffusion cell uh, there is a receptor compartment and a donor compartment we all very well know that the patch is placed over semi permeable membrane which is attached to diffusion cell and the solution of phosphate buffer is placed in receptor compartment and temperature is maintained at 37 plus minus 1 degree celsius the solution is continuously stirred and the sample of 5 ml is withdrawn from the medium at predetermined time and for maintaining the same condition same volume of fresh phosphate buffer solution is replaced and then the drug content is determined similarly if you replace it with uh, abdominal skin of rat then the in vitro skin permeation study is determined procedure is almost same further we also determine dosing accuracy stability residue and residual and disposal patient acceptance and compliance and packaging and labeling of the transdermal patches and also uh, when i was preparing these notes then i saw that various more evaluation parameters has to be done and these are like con quality control and manufacturing cost effectiveness drug drug interaction storage requirements then regulatory compliance post market surveillance and comparative studies so now we will be seeing what are the marketed preparations of transdermal patches already present so first is testosterone and Uh, testosterone transdermal patches these are used for hormone replacement therapy in men those who have low testosterone level example is androderm and testoderm then rivastigmine patches these are used for the treatment of alzheimer and parkinson example exelon patch then estradiol transdermal patch used for hormone therapy example alora and minivale the nicotine patch this is to help people quit smoking then hormone replacement patch with estrogen and progesterone then scopolamine patch then clonidine patch fentanyl patch contraceptive patches and lidocaine transdermal patches these are some of the examples of already known marketed preparations so now we will be summarizing the advantages and limitations of transdermal patches they avoid first pass gi effect and hepatic metabolism then provide consistent control absorption it reduces side effects reduces exposure to undesirable metabolites then greater patient compliance due to an elimination of multiple dosing then enhance therapeutic efficiency easy to apply and remove non invasive and painless self administration effective for drug with short biological half lives and narrow therapeutic window this is very important one then easy to remove dosing if adverse reaction occurs then continuous sustained release is obtained now what are the limitations it cannot administer drug that requires high blood levels then drug or drug formulation may cause at times skin irritation and sensitization then the barrier function of the skin changes from one side to another on the same person sometimes it is not practical when the drug is extensively metabolized in skin or when the molecular side is greater enough to prevent the molecules from diffusing through the skin it may cause allergic reaction to some some patients and sometimes it happens that long time adherence of the patch is difficult in the skin so thank you so much stay connected with sai and you pharma give suggestions in comment section and also go and watch another other videos of ndds playlist do write us you want videos on which more topics thank you so much stay connected